here. Uh, <clears throat> Good day, everybody. My name is uh, Geeky Nun, and uh, today I'll be um like. Hello. Good day, everybody. My name is. Good day or evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Geeky Nun, and today I will be talking about uh, the uh, blending tools and Cliff Studio Paint Pro. Well, and Cliff Studio Paint, just period. And uh, I mean, like I'll mostly be like experimenting with them and whatnot myself so <clears throat> so to start off we're just gonna uh, be um, creating a file like a, like a new like a new page like a, like a new thing whatever Oof. blend tool and uh, yeah I'm, I'm fairly new with this so, um, I mean, <laughs> I barely, like, I'm starting to get the hang of uh, using Clips to paint myself, but, like, I'm not even sure I know enough to make a proper tutorial, but, uh, I'll, I'll try anyways, so, you know. So, uh, first of all, I'm uh, just gonna start with, uh, um, like, uh, very simple, just, just to get, just make it easier on the eyes, whatever. There you go. I'm gonna, uh, start with that, whatever. And then that's gonna be the colors. Whatever. Okay. So um, I'm just gonna flip, pick four interesting color. So let's just go with that, and then go with the control. Maybe not that color. Uh, yeah, that's that's a yeah, that's a good color combination. Just gonna make it a bit bigger, and bring that one bigger too. And yeah, so mm different layers 
last one is order. Yeah, all right. So, uh, to uh, start off, well, that's just that's just like the default color, whatever. So, um. Right there, that's just the default, so don't really mind it. Then, uh, so the first one, blend, well, uh, really it's just, I guess you could say it's kind of like the smudging. Yeah, it's just smudging pretty much, so you just blending and and in that that you want it to look smooth or that doesn't necessarily look as nice so like you really just well I think that looks better like that if you just going like gradually whatnot something like that then you have blur which pretty much blurs the edges of both colors like this I mean depending on what look you're trying to go for it could work or it could not work I mean it just depends on how like the execution and like how used you are to the like the tool or whatever so yeah I mean like like I mean even though like people are like yeah you shouldn't use blur or whatever well I mean really it depends like at the end of the day most of the time when you do artwork like when you do artwork in general like drawings and whatever you're doing it for yourself so I mean like yeah I mean it can look Oddly, like it can look nice, so I mean, you really if you learn how to use it properly, but really, like, like if you feel it looks nice, then go for it. And then you got a uh, fingertip, which is just you know, like if you were smudging with your fingers, it like I'd say it's more akin as a uh, like your you're pretty much smudging like um two col two different colored uh balls of play-doh together so you know that's what it looks like or like paint or whatever and uh yeah again it really depends on what fill you're going for but i mean really and you can just you can actually just play around with the settings too like if you want it to look really hard like that you can or if you want it to look smooth, you can you, you can do that too. So even for bl like even for the blur tool, you can actually adjust it to your liking. So there's that. And then you got running color on uh on Fiverr. I actually I actually really like that one, especially if like if you want to make something that looks like like space really. So, like, you could go like that, tapping, which, you know, looks nice. Or, um, you can go like that, too. I mean, personally, I prefer, for that one, I prefer, like, personal preference of mine, I prefer, like, tapping like this. Looks nicer. But, like, I prefer doing that. Just, I don't know why. I just like, I just like the effect it does. But, um, like, I mean, look at that. It was just, I just like how that's just, like, has, it just looks nice. It's just like a blob of color. It's, it's nice to look at. Yeah, I already did fingertip. And then you got suiting watercolor, so now I just, 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 
looks just looks you know just like how you do with watercolor and whatever and you know I mean yeah I mean you could use that or like I'll actually talk about it like just shortly after this um yeah that's I mean like legend you could use it to make fur or like whatever like that's what I feel would be um the best use for that tool or like foam cloth or like just watercolor fill whatever I mean look at this one just look just this just looks nice or whatever so yeah yeah all right so color extension well that one uh, I'm not too sure what it's doing it's ah okay just extends the color that's that's cool I guess so uh that one can be useful too so like look at that and then making a flower or something I don't know that that too could be like that tool could be really probably could be really good for like hair or whatever or like in strokes or whatever but uh uh that one looks cool all right and then you got the rough flat my favorite usually oops that's a bit too big usually what you do is uh you go like this when you start blending like vertical vertical in horizontal strokes you diagonal whatnot and then you lower the brush intensity and that can be really good if you want to try like having some kind of like realistic like rough shading whatever or i don't know and then what you do is well you can just try to increase the size of the brush and just go like lightly like this blending like that like there like something like that you know actually you could probably achieve the same thing with the um running color and fiber brush but yeah that one's just like really for the color by itself so like i mean look at this it's just i don't know just just this just looks like dust or whatever so you know oh oh and the blur tool could be really good if you're uh you actually want to go and uh well let's say you're making a magic circle for example because yeah you could actually make magic circles in clip steel paint well usually you'd go and play around in the filters go with uh the bell assembler and whatever and go around in the uh in the shoot i don't remember the name of that but so you play around with that and go in uh at glow and whatever and then you make your magic circle but if you feel like not being lazy and you actually want to blur every individual part or you want some parts to be more blurred than others or whatever then you can use the blur tool like that that could be a good use for that and then the last one is uh is a uh, watercolor so like i mean you can use that the same as it's the same thing as uh yeah, really, it's the same thing as uh, the suiting watercolor one, but um, like that one just takes a little bit more time because you actually try to go like gradually. So you go with um, go like that. So um, it's a bit big. So. Wait, maybe not that not. Wait, hold on. Let me start again. Yeah, 
maybe they live in the uh yeah. I mean you could really just maybe not that one. You could just like really just um Yeah, any color that you want. So go around that. Just pretty much blending or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's pretty much what it give. Like something. Well, I mean, obviously you put more work into that than what I just did, but that just gives you a rough idea of like what you can do and I mean you could do that with watercolor you could do it with oil paint you could do it with India ink using the well yeah probably with India ink as well and then you could just do it with like the just the custom brushes and probably the pastel and airbrush setting and I mean, if you want to use the pen and the marker setting. So, yeah. That's, uh. That's, um. That's, um, pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it for, uh, the blending. And, uh,. Yeah, um, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope that was constructive. Um, yeah. Have an amazing day, guys.